The Human Rights Foundation invites you to listen to an amazing story of perseverance in the face of incredible odds. Ji Xiang Ho, 6,000 Miles to Freedom. When I was in middle school, many people from my hometown in North Korea died from starvation, including my classmates. And even my neighbors, they all starved to death. For the last seven decades, the ruling Kim family has deceived the North Korean people. They told us that our happy system of socialism was the best in the world, that food would be like water coming down a waterfall. But Kim Jong-il withheld food from the hungriest parts of my country intentionally. Dogs ate better than my family did in North Korea. At the far end of my hometown, political prisoners mined 1,200 tons of coal every day. On March 7, 1996, I had not eaten for several days. I ran up to a moving coal train and pulled myself aboard to scavenge and sell this coal for money to feed our family. I blacked out. When I opened my eyes, I was lying in between the two railway tracks. The train had passed over my left leg and it was hanging from the rest of my body. I tried to stop the flow of blood, but three fingers on my left hand were cut off. I cried out to my mother to save me. Even when I arrived at the hospital, there was no blood transfusion and no painkillers. And I still remember the sound of the saw. I was in so much pain that I wanted to die. At that moment, I lamented the fact that I was born in North Korea. Despite the disability I had, I planned my escape. In 2006, I embarked on a 6,000 mile journey to the jungles of Southeast Asia and eventually to South Korea. A prosthetic arm and leg were soon provided for me by the South Korean government. There were many others like me, so I founded a group called Now Action and Unity for Human Rights. Despite our tiny one-room office, in the last four years, we have rescued over 100 North Korean children, disabled people, and young women refugees from North Korea. It is very important for us to talk to the world about what goes on inside North Korea, but it is more important for us to tell the North Koreans about the outside world. The North Korean people have no internet, so we broadcast radio messages to them with truth, culture, and knowledge. This is the crutches that I used to drag myself across 6,000 miles. I never lost this. It symbolizes that you can achieve anything if you do not give up. With outside information, North Korea is changing. A free North Korea is possible with your help if we pursue it with this kind of determination. Help Ji Seung Ho move from his single room fourth floor walk up into an updated and accessible space so he can more effectively rescue and educate his countrymen and spread truth into a land shrouded in darkness. His current lease expires on September 17th. Please donate today. Time is of the essence. Thank you. How far would you go 